Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is a presentation from www.central-mosque.com about sighting the moon in Saudi Arabia during the day using CCD. I will do a further video explaining to people what is CCD technology and why it is actually not moon sighting, but we'll do that at a later date. First thing I want to explain to you is Saudi Arabia is doing the moon sighting during the day. I, as you know, um, lived, worked, studied in Saudi Arabia. Tra I used to travel a lot in Saudi Arabia due to my work. And I've been observing moon sighting every single month and updating my website www.central-mos.com for years for countries around the world. So when you watch the moon sighting declarations come in for years and years, as I've been doing for 17 years, 17 years, let me repeat, from countries around the world, you begin to see a pattern. You begin to see that basically it's being done before sunset, way before sunset sometimes, and a lot before sunset. There's a scholar who mentioned that he went for Umrah in Saudi Arabia, um, and he basically saw that uh, in Haram, in Mecca, I believe he was, they called the Adhan for Haram. And immediately within a minute, uh, they announced that the moon has been sighted and uh, it will be Ramadan tomorrow, I think he said. Uh, so he was astonished. That's what concerned him. He goes, what, how can that happen within a minute of Maghrib? So basically, yes, they're sighting the moon in Saudi Arabia during the day. And I will tell you CCD about CCD later, what that does. Right now, I want to tell you why they do that. because, And I'm going to explain to you uh, in, in very clear layman terms why from my own experience of living in Saudi Arabia. The first and the most significant with problem with moon sighting in Saudi Arabia is that they sight the moon whenever they even sight it according to Umm al-Qura. This is no secret. You can go to the Umm al-Qura's website and it says that in very clear Arabic and English. It says the calculations of Umm al-Qura are based on the terms set by distinguished council of ministers which adopt the location of Kaaba as a reference for all calculations and require conjunction to occur prior to sunset, which is moonset occurs after sunset as conditions for the birth of a new lunar month. So the Ummul Qura calendar is actually based on whenever a new moon is born and the new moon sets after the sunset, even it be it by one minute, they count that as the next Islamic month. So it has nothing to do with the sighting of the moon. It has to do the, with the birth of the new moon. So when the new moon is born, it cannot be seen um, uh, except after a few hours. So basically, they are deliberately sighting the moon on the 28th, thinking that it is the 29th. So the Umm al Qura calendar, which is used for most months out of the year in Saudi Arabia, and when they tell you it's not used for religious purposes, ridiculous. Every single month in Saudi Arabia, when you, you know, Rasulullah said it is sunnah to fast in the middle of the month, 13th, 14th, and 15th, people do that according to Umm al Qura calendar. Secondly, when they even try to sight the moon for Ramadan, the hadith says for the 29th of Sha'ban, go out and sight the moon. When they actually sighting on the 29th, it is literally the 28th. I've explained that in many, many, many topics. So that's the first problem. They're actually sighting on the wrong day. Back to our topic. Why did they do that during the day? Before I explain to you, you have the right to ask me, brother, do you have any evidence that Saudi Arabia is actually sighting the moon during the day? Let me show it to you. So this is a video from uh, one of the astronomical centers in Saudi Arabia uh, and by Khudairi. So Khudairi is the person who's single-handedly responsible for messing up um, the moon sighting uh, for most of the world. This guy continuously uh, invents moon sighting. And before I talk about this video, let me tell you, uh, there have been organizations from around the world and individuals within Saudi Arabia who are in touch with this person. And they said, listen, let us come with you and independently witness what you cite. I know that the, uh, there are Darul Ulooms in Pakistan who have offered to go with the teams in Saudi Arabia. The official teams in Saudi Arabia which go out for moon sighting, people embed with them, people shadow them, and they come back and they've never sighted the moon. This particular individual, people keep telling him, they say, let, let me come to you. I will, I will be silent. I will stay back. I will simply tape what happens. Uh, and he, ne he never allows it. So this is one of his escapades in, into the desert. And it's a very short video, um, so I'm going to let you see it, inshallah. Let me set up the audio, and hopefully the audio will come through uh, the system. 
or you Arabic so I'll talk over it. وصلنا إلى المرصد الفلكي لجامعة المجمع في حوضة سدير وهذا الرأي الضيري راح نشوف الكواليس إلى أن يتم تيقن من الرؤية الآن يتم إنزال الأجهزة والمراس Never mind about that. تواجد كبير للقنوات في السعودي NBC قناة العربية كلهم تواجدين في هذا الحدث وترقب لرؤية هلال رمضان بإذن الله. So NBC again. الآن نشوف تجهيز المراصد أستاذ عبد الخطيري يجهز المراصد الآن So remember this individual people have asked him so let, let us come with you we will tape this uh, your moon sighting um, the Saudi media uh, basically is, is recording his effort there is no media that actually um, streams it live uh, or anything like that uh, Like in UK, there's uh, many of organizations uh, basically that stream on sightings live on their Facebook. You can actually see the moon. That bit never happens. So here they are doing the day. He's telling everybody. Um, He's, he's basically saying that uh, he's basically focusing it on the sun because they want to, uh, before you can actually track the moon, on the moon you got to be able to see the sun so you know where the, which direction the sun sets. So far, so good. Okay. If you see right there is the sun. It's quite high up in the Saudi sky right here. الشمس في التلسكوب اللي الله يجزاه خير استاذ عبد الله خلاني اشوفه واعتقد انكم شفتوه معي. The NBC video is even saying that they're focusing on the sun through the periscope. When I sent that video out, uh, which I just showed you, some people said, listen, when you sight the moon, you always set your telescope during the day to focus on the sun for tracking and so on. You put a solar filter in front, otherwise your telescope's going to burn. Uh, and I said, you're absolutely right. So I said, this does not prove that they're actually trying to sight the moon during the day. You're absolutely right. It does not. That video, together with this tweet from Abdullah al-Misnid, a day before the Ramadan sighting, supposedly Ramadan sighting of 5th of May, basically what uh, Al Minsid, who's a professor of climatology in Department of Geography, at Qasim University, says tomorrow tomorrow morning we'll begin astronomical imaging of the Ramadan crescent using CCD camera in several Arab countries: Saudi Arabia, UAE, Oman, Jordan, and Morocco. Remember, inshallah, in another video I'll talk about CCD. We may watch the Ramadan moon in broad daylight on Sunday via CCD, which will be published here and at other places where astronomers visit. Uh, the brother who uh, basically objected on my video on social media, he said, how do you know they're doing this during the day? So I sent him this tweet right then and there. This brother understands Arabic fluently. I want you to pause this. You can take it to anybody you want. I want you to go ahead and get it translated uh, from anyone that you trust. He is very clearly saying that they will be sighting the moon during the day. So now the question becomes, why does Saudi Arabia do this during the day? So let me explain that to you. So as I've told you, um, two things, just my personal experience. I've lived in Saudi Arabia. Um, I used to travel a lot. Uh, there's not a lot to do in Saudi Arabia. Um, so Alhamdulillah on the weekend, what I used to do is I used to drive down to Medina to the Prophet's Mosque when the weekend starts. Um, and, you know, basically during the drive, I observed the horizon hundreds of times literally uh, what happens is a desert sky the desert sky is absolutely stunning and beautiful in the desert there's not a lot of light pollution so when you look at the stars you have full view of the sky the stars and everything is absolutely beautiful however the moon is not that high in the sky basically the sun sets 
and what happens is right where the sun sets either right or left depending on the position depending on where you are which hemisphere and what part of the year the the the, the crescent which is either to the left or the right the crescent is actually white but just to uh, to make it um basically uh, visible to you on the screen i've deliberately painted it black what happens in saudi arabia is is 15 20 minutes or may sometimes even more uh, the sun actually when it's setting bright uh, yellow sun you cannot see it it basically disappears above the horizon 15 20 minutes before sunset so you cannot see it so if you cannot see a bright yellow ball of fire into the sky there's absolutely no chance you can see the new moon at all so basically that is the reason for atmospheric reasons and other reasons in saudi arabia basically the, the the sunset you cannot see the sunset when the sun is set the sky is beautiful because the stars are way above the sky but the new moon cannot be seen in the atmosphere and now i will show i will show you videos of what happens during sunset this is the reason why unless the new moon is really really high up in the sky you cannot see it in saudi arabia because of atmospheric conditions so let me now show you and demonstrate it to the videos this is the reason why saudi saudis they know that the people who live there they know that and i i would like you next time you're for an umrah for hajj step out of either Makkah and Medina, not that far out from Haram, Haram, and take a good look at the setting sun. You will notice that 15 20 minutes before the sunset, sometimes even more, the sun actually disappears on the horizon. If you're on a nice um, a place for, for uh, watching, uh, it's, it's one of the most beautiful sights watching the sun set. You can see the sun dip and dip and dip, and you can watch it all the way to the end until it disappears. You can see that in the ocean uh, if you go on ships and stuff. Uh, but in Saudi Arabia, it does not happen. It basically so imagine this is the uh, this is the horizon. Uh, sorry, this is where you're standing, sea level. This is the horizon. Basically, uh, the, the it disappears way before it even gets there, so you cannot see it. So if you cannot see the sun, you cannot see the moon. Remember, I've I've painted this black just to show you. It's actually white, as you know, the new moon. So now let me show you videos of what happens. So this is a video of Sheikh Suleiman Ghani when he went to Mecca um, with one of the moon site, official moon sighting teams. By the way, they didn't sight the moon on that time either but you can see in this video what happens during sunset and what i'll do is i'll play and pause so here they are this guy is talking about so he's got his... so he's talking about setting of the twilight so what he's saying is he's talking about the weather uh, around asr time here you go so you see a, a, you know 15 20 minutes so in a you know if you go on the sea or something like that you'll see the sunset below all the way you can see it set in saudi arabia it does not because right here because of atmospheric conditions the sun actually disappears okay and it is a normal scenario in saudi arabia so if you had if you had to sight the new moon you'll it will either be here on the right or on the left but because if if, if you cannot see a big giant ball of fire into the sky there's absolutely no way you can see the sun continue with the video so if you watch it basically right here uh, Forget about this side, is the horizon and that's uh, important. Um, and the, basically, the sun will disappear. You will not see it set all the way down. So, unless, I'm going to pause it for a second. Um, imagine if, so the moon has to be quite high into the sky, which a new moon is sometimes not, and usually not. You will not be able to see it. This guy is not for the by the way, someone else. So I'm gonna let this play again, and I want I want to I want to for you to see this again. And I would like you when next time we're for Umrah or Hajj, step out of Haramain. You don't have to go that far, uh, and you will see this phenomenon. So let me pause it again when the, when he focuses on the sun right here. Okay, so the moon has to be quite high into the sky for you to see it. So this is right here. Can you see the tip of the of the sun disappearing? So if this was if this video was a little bit later, which I'll show you in the second video, you will not be able to see the sun. Cannot see the sun. You cannot see the moon because the sun is bright, glowing, fiery yellow into the sky. So let me now show you another video.
This video consists of time-lapse photography from this year on the day of Ramadan. So basically, uh, 6th of May when the Saudis claimed that they sighted the moon. This is in Abha. I want you to watch the sunset in time-lapse photography. It's a few seconds, so I'll let it play it without saying anything. And then next, in the next time when I run it, I'll talk about it. Watch the sunset. Now I'm going to play it and pause it for you. So here's the sun setting, disappears. Do you see that? This is what happens in Saudi Arabia because of the atmosphere, bright glow. Let me take it back for you slowly. You see the sun? This is what happens in Saudi Arabia. So basically it's a natural phenomenon for some reason in Saudi Arabia. The new moon is really low into the sky, usually. So if, if a bright ball of sun cannot be seen see gone there's absolutely no chance you can see the new moon so the south the saudis who live in the desert they know this situation really well gone okay the sun is not set yet the sun is still right here you cannot see it in the picture completely gone and dark that is the reason why the new moon cannot be seen in saudi arabia once again i'm repeating myself i'm sorry to say that but if you go for umrah or hajj i would like you to step out into the into the fields and observe this phenomenon now when it gets completely dark this you can it's the sky is absolutely stunning and beautiful in the desert right as i'm saying because of my work and stuff i used to travel quite a lot in saudi arabia and you will subhanallah you will admire the sky but the stars are actually right here way up there you can see the stars you can see the sun uh, sorry you can see the stars you can see the sky you'll enjoy it beautiful but when it comes to the moon the moon is quite low in the sky and you cannot see it let me Watch it one more time. Here's the sun setting. Time lapse video. The sun is not set. It will set when it's about down here, but it's disappearing, 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 gone. This is the reason why the new moon cannot be sighted in Saudi Arabia. So they are doing this during the day using CCD. As I've shown you the video and I've shown you the tweet direct tweet from saudi arabia this is what's happening now um our scholars um and others need to realize that you can uh, you know it's it alhamdulillah may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all to go visit the haramain uh you can observe it for yourself once again um what so as i keep saying in many of my videos what saudi arabia do in their country is their business my reason for showing this to people in the West uh, is to make them realize what actually happens in that country. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.